Alrighty. Um, sorry for all my subscribers, and I do appreciate y'all that I haven't done a video in quite a while. So uh, we're gonna break that record there and start with this. This is a new build of a Harbor Freight trailer kit. Let me show you the side markings here. It's a 1700 20 pound capacity. That's the biggest one they make, I believe. Um, I got this for $339. Uh, people that aren't familiar with these at all, comes in two boxes. Uh, one's all the metal rails, the other is the tires and a few other parts. So, you see how this thing's constructed. It's entirely held together by these bolts which are this bolt. That's 90% of it right there. The few longer ones that are used in a couple of places um, and the U-bolts for the, sorry kidding, for the axle attachments. And that's it. So there are hundreds of them. As you can see, everywhere, every place two pieces of metal meat top and bottom you're gonna have one of those bolts um, now this is the foldable model it says they're foldable and if you look at uh, Harbor Freight's some of their advertising on their website you can see that uh, how that folds it folds here in the center at these hinges and then it stands up on these casters that I don't have mounted I'll tell you why in a second and then the tongue folds as well. So you have uh, those hitch pins holding that part of the tongue and it will pivot on these bolts and it will fold as well. I included the most of the parts for to do the folding feature like I've put the hinges on because it does strengthen it there. Uh, but I won't be using that feature. I had one of these before. This is my second build on these. Uh, I never used the folding feature on that one and only attempted to fold it one time and here's the problem with it you to fold this thing you basically have to have two people that can support the whole weight of it as it's stood up and then fold it down so this thing is going to be fold it you're going to put it back lift it all the way up vertical on the casters that will be mounted here on arms and then then you'll have to disengage the bolts here in the center to allow it to fold it's just too hazardous to do it the team with two guys that have done it before that are pretty strong and tall which you need to be tall too it's a pretty hazardous operation to fold it so uh, even though my previous one was a lighter version of this trailer um, I never use that feature. I really don't see the value of it. I mean, it does get it up skinny and out of the way if you had to put it in a garage or something, but you'd end up never, if you folded it up, you'd end up never using it because you have to have two people there to unfold it. And it's, like I said, quite a risky process to do it. If you mess up, there's pinch hazards that could drop on you. Um, so. I'm just not going to use that feature. I don't think most people do. It doesn't come with a stand um, and a wheel, cast a wheel in the front and a stand. You have to add that. They're about $30. It uh, doesn't come with decking. I wanted to show this one before the decking was done. Uh, just to show kind of uh, more details on how it's made. So you have to add a piece of plywood. And to do the folding feature, you add two pieces of plywood. So you're going to have to split it here so it can fold and back it down a little bit to give room for it to, to pass each other. And if you're going to use the folding feature, you got to make sure you leave plenty of slack in your lights because it will stretch them. But I, I didn't cut the wires. I just left them there just to have spare wire on board. But like I said, I'm not going to use the, the feature of uh, the folding. And what I'm doing right now on it is hanging the stake pockets i wasn't going to hang those originally because it's probably going to be a while before i make my sides for it if i ever do uh, my intention is to use it more as a flatbed to haul off all this lumber that's here so but i'm gonna go ahead and hang them because i figure i might as well hang them as 
the storm and it's a little easier to hang these if you do follow the directions that they give you um, and do it when they say it's a little bit easier but it really can wait till later and not be done at all it doesn't matter uh, as far as the directions go eh, they're good and bad they're not great they're not terrible they are English language sort of uh, they'll get the job done they'll explain it to you the parts are not marked they do in the in the instructions they do have parts numbers but they're not marked on the part so you really have to just look at the part in question look at the diagram and see how the holes on it identify it and then uh, and then move from there as far as trying to find and you'll make mistakes and usually you'll find them in the next step so something will have to be undone so build time on this I think that's what most people um, will be curious about it's hard for me to really say I've, I've been putting around on this a few hours every day for the past three four days uh, maybe five hours one day my problem has been that I'm one I'm doing it by myself no help and the second thing is um, I've got a wounded arm and so when once you start cranking you know a wrench for a while uh, my arm would get sore and I have to quit so um, all right about construction here's a few tips I didn't necessarily do but I'm gonna pass them on to you. if any way possible have a helper you're gonna need a helper and someone pretty strong because at some points anyway because part of the build or most of the build actually is done with the trailer upside down that's how you hang the axles uh, and the tires and then it has to be flipped over whole just like you see it here so that's going to take a couple of people definitely I would never try to do it by myself uh, my wife and my two daughters helped me do it and we did it fine there was four of us on it but other thing is having a helper will more than have your build time easily uh, every one of these bolts with the exception of one or two that are carriage bolts have to be backed so having someone to uh, run a wrench on the back side of it um, while somebody else runs uh, something on top to cinch it down will save so much time having someone I did help identify parts so mistakes aren't made two minds going at it to make sure it's being done right uh, getting parts and tools to get left on this side or that side of the trailer because you can be sitting on the ground during a lot of it um, and the other tip I can give you is when you get to the point where the this part of it's built, the box, the frame there, and the tongue is on, raise it up on jack stands. Get it off the ground. It'll save you a little bit of bending and stuff. It helps a little bit, even though the instructions don't really say that. It helps hang the tires, too, um, if it's on jack, and the uh, fenders, if it's up on jack stands. They're not real close to the ground, then. Um, so, yeah, if possible, definitely have, you know, a friend help you with this I think having done a couple of them if I had a good helper probably knock one of these out in four hours uh, no problem wiring is pretty straightforward actually was explained pretty well in the and there's different ways you can route it you know kind of however you want they give you plenty of wire you just want to run it inside the frame they have these chintzy little clips that I don't like so I'm just gonna run zip ties and even drill a couple new holes to run a zip tie. I did that here, drilled a hole there to run a zip tie through to hold that bundle of wire. And you can do that. There's a million ways you can secure the wire and um, without using those little clips, they're not gonna last, they're gonna fall off. Now, for value on these, I think that's really where the argument is. And I, I would get this model, the, even if you don't think you're gonna need it, because the smaller models all come, at least they did, I believe this is still true, with four lug rims and tires. This one comes with a five lug. So these are, and these are better tires, are higher speed rated than, um, than the ones on the smaller trailers. If you want to go to a different, thicker, wider, taller tire and rim, a different size, you can do it a lot more easily with the five lug. These are um, 5.3 by 12s, 
and you can go to a larger size with plenty of clearance underneath that fender heck you could probably go to 15s um, so that's why I would recommend go ahead and getting the big one and the other thing about the big one it's not any more expensive than the smaller ones so I paid I had a coupon that I found online on my phone for forget for this trailer for 339 um, and that was actually ten dollars cheaper than the best coupon I could find for the smaller model uh, and they also make a four by a four by four model I believe or a four by six that doesn't have the folding feature it's a smaller lighter uh, I think it's maximum weight on it was less than a thousand pounds and if you really want something just small that one might be a good choice but if you want something full length uh, full eight foot length get this heavier duty model uh, the last one I had pulled great worked great lasted a long time I just sold it because I didn't need it anymore um, you're going to get some scratches and rust on this frame in Florida, so the stuff rust. Just keep a little can of spray paint around and touch it up as you need to as big scratches develop, you know, and then they're going to tend to rust. Um, that's about it. I can't really think of anything else. You know, as far as the value goes, I was looking at trailers. I didn't really want to do one of these again. And I was looking. I figured I could get a used trailer, uh, the type they sell, the expanded metal ones they sell at Lowe's for you know pretty reasonable but not really uh what i really was found and i looked for a couple of months on facebook marketplace and um and on craigslist was that we really wanted too much for these used junky trailers they wanted 450 500 dollars 600 dollars for really sketchy looking trailers that had and then they'd say oh no no title never been titled lost paperwork so you have to rely on a bill of sale uh, yeah you know you get a you get a clean fresh title for these you get new tires I mean for the price and a few hours of, of, of wrenching on it shit, it's a pretty good deal so it's a two inch ball on this and I believe that the last one I had that was a smaller model I think it was a smaller hitch but it may have been two inch too uh, you know you throw a jack stand on it or a, a, a screw jack caster tire and it's as good as anything you're selling at Lowe's um, that's about it. I don't really know what else to say about it. It does come complete. You really don't need to get anything else except for the deck. The, little white, the wiring kit comes with it. Even the wiring kit for the car side comes with it uh, on a four-way. So way right there. Um, it's all pretty much there. Tires and fenders, everything come with it. So uh, Don't be afraid of it. If you want to do one, you know, like I said, don't be afraid to do it takes a little bit of strength and a little bit of concentration and you know definitely uh some help it will help so all right that's all i got it's all over and saying goodbye